Europa Way presenta Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot tell you how happy, how thrilled, how thrilled I am to have today's guest in this intermission of Gali Lucha Libre, Jay Painter. I mean, he on, brings guys? excitement, he brings it all to the Luchas, and we're going to chat with him, get to know him a little bit better. So, Jake, welcome to this intermission of Gali Lucha Libre. How you doing? I'm doing great, Tico. Happy to have me, man. I'm happy to be on the show. I'm very happy. You know, like I said, I, I was wanting to express myself more to, to the Galley fan base, you know, and I think this is a great opportunity, not only for you to get to know me, but for the fans to get to know me a little better, too. So, really excited. With that in mind, uh, let's start. Um, how long have you been wrestling and what kicked you in that direction to so somehow put it I in a way? I have been wrestling and a lot, I get, I always get, you know, the big shock factor every time I tell people I've only been wrestling for eight months. I started, let's see now, around July, it was August, July of last year only. Um, my biggest kick, like I said, I've always been a fan been a fan my whole life. Um, growing up, my role model was the radar superstar Edge. He was the reason why I, I watched wrestling. He was the reason why I followed it. Um, him retiring was a big thing, like in my childhood. I'll never, one of those things I'll never forget. Um, and I'd, I'd always been like, I played football my whole life. And I was always like, you know, after I'm done playing football, you know, I'll, uh, American football, obviously. Uh, I was, I was thinking, you know, let's, maybe I'll wrestle after that, you know, and, the years were going by after I stopped playing and I've been like probably about two years. Um, you know, I wasn't really thinking about it too much. And then edge, you know, he made his big comeback, you know, and, you know, I kind of had that, uh, you know, I had that moment where it was like, you know, if he can do it, you know, coming back from all the stuff he's come back from and we know why can't I. So um, that was the big thing for me was just, you know, him, his comeback was like my, was the final push for me. Got myself into the shape that I felt like I, I, I should have been in to get in the ring um and you know the rest was history here i am <laughs> well every time every time you get in the ring mm -hmm. it's like uh you, you should start playing some tornado sirens or some something because you take that that ring by storm oh yeah. i mean i, I mean it's just like, like from the get-go i mean what motivates you Do, okay mean, for, here's a here's a Here's a question, mm -hmm. a better one for you. Mm -hmm. Do you, when you hear your intro, yep. do you get butterflies? You get chicken skin? Oh yeah. I mean, never, uh, it's not like a, it's not a fear thing. Um, I would compare it to how I felt before I went on the football field, you know, just like, right. You're in, you're in the locker room, you know, you're getting ready to go out. You know, you hear the, the band's playing, the music's playing, you know, you're just, you're getting all psyched up and you run out and you hear the ovation, you know, and it's, it's all, you know, it, it, everything, it just, it's a feeling that, that only, you know, I only felt on the football field, you know, and I never felt like I could recreate that feeling again. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that is, it's, it's an, it's, it's a one of a kind feeling running out there and, and just being, being the backbreaking artist, being Jake Painter, you know, it is, it, you know, it is my name, but you know, when you're, when, when I'm out there, I am the backbreaking artist. So, I mean, it's, it's exhilarating, so, man. So aside from, um, from football, yeah. you found it again, at Gali? I would uh, say, yes. Gali was, yes. The Gali um, is probably the place I've, I've wrestled the most, you know, out of ever, out of all that I've done so far. Um, so, yeah, I would say definitely, you know, Gali's, the atmosphere that Gali brings, you know, and especially, you know, Gali works at all different places too. You know, I know obviously we've been at the, 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 you know, the Mart for, for a while, you know, because of the quarantine and everything, but, you know, Carlos does a great job of getting us, you know, different places, different, different exposure, you know, just this weekend, you know, getting into the Eagles club, you know, that's, that's big, you know, it's, it's, it's a legendary place. You know, a lot of, a lot of Lucha is, is happens there. And I think, you know, adding, you know, getting back over there after being out of there for a couple of years. And then, you know, even, you know, we were still in the, you know, the, in the swap mart this past weekend, but having a different setup, being on the turf, you know, just feeling the crowd's energy being in a different place. Um, you know, it's, it, it is, like I said, it's, it's exhilarating having that opportunity. Speaking of the crowds, mm -hmm. you have become my friend 
a favorite of the fans, especially the young ladies. <laughs> you are very uh, a nice looking cat. Thank a nice you. Looking I appreciate it. You got the moves. You got the looks. You got everything going for you. The fans, do you hear them cheering for you? Oh, or do man. you get in the zone? Oh, yes. No, no, no. I hear them loud and clear. There's nothing that gets me more in the zone, Tico, than when I hear the ka 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 or I hear that bur, 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 bur. No, when there's nothing that I enjoy more because that means, you know what? What, I'm what is that? Ka 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 The rattler. What are those, what are those called? The, it, it, they're called uh, like um, the, the noise uh, makers. I don't know what you're talking about. The noise right, makers. Right, like, um, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but no, I, nothing. There's like a name for it. I'll find out. Yeah, so as soon as I hear that noise, you know, that means you know, I'm doing something right. You know, that's that's kind of how it resonates with me. So and, and I hear it, you know, I, and like you said, Tico, I, I feel like I hear it pretty often throughout my match. So or during my matches. So, um, yeah, like I said, I that's that's a, that's the big thing. You know, the, the galley crowd isn't one to cheer a lot, but like they know how to make their noise. Their noise comes a different way. And they and I've known I've figured it out and I've known I've come to appreciate it a lot. So, you know, there, you know, why is that right? I don't. They, they 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 don't they don't share a lot. Mm -hmm. You know you know why, right? I know like uh isn't that kind of like a lucha style? They, the they, only they reason the... why well there there is. Yeah. We're, we're gonna touch that a little bit. Yeah. But the Gali fans, the Gali crowds mm -hmm. are very particular on who they share for. That is true. And you, my friend, it did take and me. And you, away. my friend, had been like like the the I'm trying to find out. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't know if the name of it. it. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, they they, mm -hmm. they, they they you bring that out. You bring that out. Not all not all your colleagues do that. You, you know, a lot of mm -hmm. them get booed, a lot of them get name calling. You on the other, on the other hand, go get the oohs and the ahs and the cheering and the applause, and then that thing, and then the guys mm -hmm. in the back beating the drums and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Because I mean, you bring it. I mean, what what else can I say? I'm just being <laughs> repetitious here. I'm just being redundant. I'm I'm just going around and around and course, around about the, about the same point. Yep. So I mean, congrats on that. Now Thank let's you, jump. Chico. Let's jump on. Um, uh, we were talking about. Uh, prior to this interview, and uh, so gracious of you to 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 honor us, uh, uh, taking the time to do of this uh, uh, interview at uh, intermission of the present Gali Lucha Libre. You were mentioning, or we were talking about some wristbands of course, that you yeah. have that you so, wear. So, fan, I know I'm sure a couple of fans have asked me about them already. So every time I go to the ring, I, I wear one every day too on my wrist. I, I wear. Four wristbands that say nothing is impossible. Originally, it was uh, I was supporting my, uh, my, one of my buddies, my buddy's businesses, um, but I kind of ended up taking that um, that motto and applying it to you know my life, not only my life but also my wrestling career. Um, you know, I, I've I've come I've overcome some injuries myself. You know, I stopped playing football because I had some shoulder problems. And I had some nerve damage stemming from my neck. Um, it took me, like I said, about two years to fully recover and, and feel like I was I was really ready. You know, and there there was a point in time where I was like, hey, I, I didn't think it was going to be possible. But, you know, keeping that mindset and, and, and you know, committing to nothing being, you know, and nothing's impossible. You know, if you really put your mind to something, you know, my, my parents always preach that my whole life. You can do anything, put your mind to. So, you know, uh, they 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 hit it right on the nose and oh, they yeah. are right. And and yeah, nothing is impossible when you put your your mind to it. So people have been asking about merchandise your oh, yes. merchandise jake painter please tell me you're coming out with something of course t-shirts eight by tens they will be coming i promise i've been very busy the last couple of weeks a lot of traveling a lot of a lot of shows like i said jake painter has been has been asked to work at a couple of different promotions uh around recently so i know wrestlemania is gonna be like my my biggest thing coming up so as soon as i get past that wrestlemania week you know, all the, the craziness and madness that that brings the wrestling world. Um, I think you're going to see a lot more merchandise coming from me. But like I said, trying to get to more, trying to get to t-shirts. I, I would like to get on pro wrestling tees.com. That's like my, one of my main goals right now. Um, so that way fans can, can get a Jake uh, back breaking artist t-shirt at any time. Um, I'll have some pictures, like I said, at the shows that way fans can, can get a, can a, get pictures of me and I can sign some autographs, things like that, you know, kind of like, you know, you see guys like Mil Muertes doing, you see like Axel Rico doing, you know, but 
you know, you want to see it. Uh, you they want to see the backbreaking artist. They want to see his gear. So I will make sure that that I make that happen for them. Good for you. Good for you. I wish you nothing but the best. Now, Thank you, Tico. Where where I wanted to get Gali Lucha Libre and regular wrestling. Mm -hmm. How do you see uh, both of them, and how have you adapted? to the velocity, the, the show stopping, the mm -hmm. non-stop action. So I, what I will say, um, get w without, without Galley, you know, Galley has shown me how to, how to keep up with the pace with just about anybody. Um, I am excited, you know, moving forward here with Galley. Uh, I, I would like to work a lot more Lucha Libres. Okay. A lot, lot, lot more guys that work that style, that, that Lucha style, as opposed to the American style. Um, Like I said, it is much more fast paced. It is much more go, go, go. But like, as you see, my style is very, very similar. I compare in my style. I also like to go, go, go. I also like to work with that speed. And I think once you combine that, that fast paced American style that I bring to the table with that fast paced Lucha Libre style, um, you're going to get some, some magic in the ring. So like I said, I know it's, it's been in the works. You know, I've been talking to Carlos a lot about it lately. So we're, we're really excited and I can't wait to see what, uh, what, what Galley has in store for me. I like that. I like that. You just you just prepared with that explanation, with that answer, like a small mini buffet. Oh yeah. What's 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 to come? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. Oh gonna set the man. menu up, Tico. You already know. Oh my dear <laughs> Lord, sweet Jesus Christ. And today is not Sunday to preach. Mm -hmm. Oh my dear. You know, every time I call your your matches. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, it, it's, 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 I gotta put my, my brain, my mouth and make sure that I don't tap the microphone so I can capture your moves, your, your athleticism. Uh, I mean, let uh, me tell you, so Tico, there's nothing, with this. there's Go nothing ahead. I like more than when I hit one of my signature backbreakers and all you hear is bop. Coming from Tico, that's one of my favorite things to hear. When I'm watching my matches back, I, it puts a huge smile on my face. So you're Thank you. when, it, when it comes to to listening to my mat, like watching my matches and, and hearing it back, you're one of my favorite voices. Even though, like I said, I know I know very little Spanish. I I, use, I worked at a couple of Mexican restaurants growing up, growing up because my family owns a couple. Um, so I know a little bit of Spanish. But like I said, even though I'm still very entertained. So thank you. You always put a smile on my face, Tico. That's an international language in anybody's any part of the world. Oh and, yeah. Uh, but the, the the splat that I bring out to the microphone. <laughs> Now when I was when I was driving with that thought mm -hmm. with that um, uh, explanation was mm -hmm. now that you presented me or presented the fans as well in this intermission with Gali Lucha Libre. Mm -hmm. Now you'd be doing this, you'd be doing that, you'd be doing that, and thank you. For giving me the heads up, because now I gotta drink a whole lot of water to make sure <laughs> that everything is in gear when Jake Painter takes the the, yes, the, the ring by yes, storm. I'm telling you, I'm gonna ask Carlos to to after your intro, or I'm gonna put it on my own sound machine. I have my own little sound machine that I'm working on, and, and then put some kind of tornado siren when you come Please. in or you. So, you know, when, when mm -hmm. people hear that on the, on the broadcast, yep. uh, the tornado sound, that means that Jake Painter is coming. Get the hell out. Because get the you're hell gonna, out. <laughs> you're going you're gonna, to get, you're gonna oh, get awesome, hurt. Chico. No, no. I, I mean, anything, mm -hmm. anything. I mean, you, you are uh, and Jake Painter. You bring excitement to the game. You bring excitement to the business. And that's what we're all about. I Thank mean, you, I've been doing Thank this you. a couple of weeks now. I've been doing this a couple of weeks now. So I know talent when I see one. And you, my dear friend, you are it. Thank you, you are sir. it. And, Thank and, you, Steve. And, Thank um, you, Tico. Jesus Christ. Now, you were talking earlier when we started this intermission interview uh, at the present Gali Lucha Libre mm -hmm. um, card. Uh, you mentioned Edge. Yes. Edge. It, 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 is that the reason why you wear your hair like that? Uh, so I, this is my first time growing my hair out. Um, it is, uh, it makes, I, I think it looks better as just uh, as a wrestler. Um, honestly, the biggest inspiration with edge for, for me personally is my gear. You know, if people have noticed like my, my new purple, my new purple tights that I have with the, with the sun logo and the flames on it, 
Uh, it's very like it's very lucha, so it kind of fits in. But it's it's something that he wore in the late '90s, early 2000s when he was first coming on the scene. Um, so I kind of took it and made it my own. Uh, so he that like I said, when he there's little things here and there that like I'll I'll kind of put into my gear and how I go about it. Um, but no, I've always wanted to grow my hair out. I'm sure um, the little when I was little, Edge was probably the reason why I've always wanted to do it. But my my dad was always like, oh, you need to have the buzz cut. You got to keep your hair short. You know, got to look professional. Um, obviously, I'm grown. I'm grown now, so I can make those decisions for myself. Uh, right. So, yeah, right. I just, I've always wanted to grow it out. You know, I, I like the way it looks, I like the way it feels. And I don't think I'll be cutting it anytime soon. So. Good. Good for you. I mean, uh, the, the more to your image, the better. So you can sell all that merchandise. Speaking oh, of, of Papa, you were Papa, Papa into the picture. What does your family think about you being a professional wrestler? So they, me and my brother, I have a little brother as well. So we've kind of always, uh, we've kind of wrestled each other like our whole lives. So they've kind of, it's nothing that they never expected. Um, my family actually lives uh, down in West Tennessee. I'm in the, I'm up here by myself in the Chicagoland area. So, um, but no, it's been, they, they like it. They love watching. They haven't, they haven't been able to see me live yet just because the timing has been good with, you know, with, with the, the pandemic and everything but um, right we're, we're, we're setting hopefully it, it's in a galley setting because i want i want them to experience the the atmosphere and the crowd that um it is so unique that that galley brings so hopefully the way when we time it up it can be for a galley weekend oh indeed 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 my friend now would you mind would you mind sharing with the fans mm -hmm. uh your, your social medias so they can follow you talk to you get to know jake painter Please. a bit more so jake painter on facebook if it doesn't show the backbreaking artist in the um in the bio and it doesn't show a picture of me blowing a kiss to the crowd then it's not me so you guys can add me on facebook my twitter and my instagram are currently under construction um martin from wrestling with unicorns who's always at our galley shows has been tagging me in my personal Instagram. So you guys are more than welcome to follow me on there. So that way when my my wrestling Instagram is under construction or done being constructed, I can send you guys a follow request so that you guys can catch up on all my new stuff. But like I said, that will also be a um, going into WrestleMania weekend finished and all done uh, product uh, activity that I have planned. So um, I'm getting ready to all roll it out. I want to, you know, my goal is to, you know, put my new social medias out there and then put the, the merchandise all together so that fans can follow me, get get my new merchandise. And, you know, the the, the name of the backbreaking artist, Jake Painter, can uh, kind of explode from there. So and hear the sirens. Yeah. And, and hear, hear the, the sirens, sirens. the tornado, the tornado sirens going on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, cannot, I cannot let you go, my friend, Jake Painter, without uh, uh, inviting the fans uh you're saying blowing that kiss to the fans and that'll be that'll be our see ya, see ya! Thank you, Jake. Of course. all right thank you tico it was a pleasure i'll talk to you later we'll talk to you tico